Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Kaiweets HT100S non-contact voltage tester. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's get this open. We have the detector, came with two batteries. Let's unscrew the end here. I'm guessing they go in here. Yep, I'll put the positive down first. There we go. There's a little piece of plastic here over the screen. Pull that off. Let's take a quick look at the manual. So here's a product overview. We have the non-contact voltage sensor probe on the end. Comes with a flashlight, signal indicator, LCD screen, power button, mode and flashlight switch, and battery cover. To turn it on or off, you press the power button for more than one second. Press the power button again, it will turn off, and it will turn off after five minutes of non-use. This talks about detecting the presence of AC voltage, and this is an important step. You want to test it on a known live circuit to verify that it's working. So say you shut off the circuit to an outlet, you could take this and you can test it, but you should test it on an outlet that you know works first to make sure this is working properly. And I'm just going over the basics of this. You will want to read the whole manual. It says the signal intensity is affected by the distance of the tester from the voltage. The further the tester is from the circuit, the weaker the signal becomes. So this is dual range. It detects 70 to 1000 volts AC. To enter the high sensitivity mode to detect 12 volts to 1000 volts AC, briefly press the mode switch button. So the default is the low sensitivity mode. And then it says for subsequent uses, the tester will power on in the mode that was most recently used. It says identifying the wiring, keep the individual wires as far away from each other as possible and read the signals. The neutral and live wires should be identified by detected signal intensity. So your live wire is going to be a stronger signal than the neutral. It says press and hold the flashlight button for more than two seconds to turn the flashlight on or off. It has a low battery indicator. And here are the tech specs. There's more tech specs. It talks about battery replacement, cleaning. Okay, so let's turn this on. Hold down the power button. And I will refer back to the instructions here to make sure I cover everything. So to change the mode, we'll press the flashlight mode button. And it's really nice. You can tell what mode you're in because it tells you it says 12 volts to 1 kV and 70 volts to 1 kV. Now if we hold that down, the flashlight will turn on. So it's not a super bright flashlight. Maybe you're working behind an appliance and you need to read a serial number. You could use this flashlight. You're obviously not going to do search and rescue with it, but it's not intended for that. So hold that down. So let's get some AC to test this on. Here I have a power strip. We'll place this in the hot terminal. And here it says 99%. It's beeping fast. Let's try the neutral. So we're not getting anything in there. Now sometimes you may or may not get current on the neutral. So let's plug that in and I'll shut the switch off. And it went to zero. So typically what you would do is if you're working on a circuit, you might go to the circuit breaker and turn the power off. So what I would actually probably do is test the circuit before. Make sure you're getting a tone. Go shut the power off at your panel and then test it again. And leave the circuit tester on while you're doing that. And now we have a different reading, so there's a good chance that that cut power. This will also do lower voltage wire. Let's try this on some doorbell wiring. Okay, so here we have a doorbell transformer. So I'm on the low sensitivity mode, so we should have hot over here. So when I touch this wire, it goes off. When I touch the other wire, it does not. And you can see it turns red. It's kind of hard to see that with my studio lights on my bench. Now, if we come over here, let's try this. Now we're getting a little bit of activity here, but we can turn on that higher sensitivity mode. Now this is actually probably too much trigger. So, and I think this is like 24 volt, but we can tell that's energized. Now to turn this off, I'll just press the power button. So that's the Kaiweets. HT100S non-contact voltage tester. I've used a number of non-contact voltage testers, but this one seems to have a few more features than the others. Has that screen on there, has the multi-modes, has the flashlight. A tester like this would probably work really well for finding a break in a connection. You can see that percentage so you can tell how much electricity is being registered. Of course, it also speeds up the beep. And then it has that visual reminder with the red and the green light. This also takes AAA batteries, so easy to find batteries. Has a shirt clip on there. 
and it's very easy to hold and use. So if you're looking for a non-contact voltage detector, I think this is a great option. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.